the planet hosts the largest tournament on the West Coast, where one player will win $2 million. Tonight on the World Poker Tour. The World Poker Tour is a series of 17 international poker tournaments featuring the biggest games, the greatest players, and the largest payouts on the planet. In Los Angeles, six players, $6.6 million. In the City of Angels, it's poker heaven on earth. Tonight on the World Poker Tour. Hi, everyone. Welcome to the World Poker Tour. We're in Los Angeles, California, the Golden State, and there's plenty of gold at stake tonight in the L.A. Poker Classic. I'm Mike Sexton. And I'm Vince Van Patten. And, Mike, you said it. Back up the Brinks truck. They are playing for big bucks here in L.A. We started out five days ago. 693 players all put up $10,000 to make a total prize pool of close to $7 million. And the lion's share is going to be distributed here tonight with the winner taking home a ridiculous number, $2.4 million. This title always seems to go to one of the greats of the game. That is true. Three years ago, we saw the great Dane, Gus Hansen, take the title. A couple years back, we saw the magician, Antonio Esfandiari. He pulled the rabbit out of the hat. And then just last year, Michael, the grinder, Ms. Rocky, took the title. They all went on to fame and fortune. Well, tonight's final six players are looking to make their mark and join that illustrious group of champions. Okay, Mike, let's meet the players. In six-chip position, the short stack tonight, a professional out of New York is Steve Simmons. He's got 1,500,000 in chips. Moving over to fifth chip position is Daniel Quatch, living in Los Angeles. He used to be a professional casino dealer. He's got 1,650,000 in chips. Starting out in fourth chip position tonight is former WPT world champion Alan Gehring. He's a retired Wall Street businessman, and he's looking to capture a second WPT title tonight. In third chip position is Los Angeles businessman Michael Wu. Michael is well-renowned in the L.A. poker circles, and he's looking to get world-renowned by winning tonight. Okay, second chip position, Per Umer. He used to live in Sweden and now Cyprus. He got into this tournament through a $1,000 satellite. This is fantasy time for him. And our chip leader tonight is J.C. Tran. He's been at two other WPT final tables, finished seventh both times, including this event two years ago. You know, he desperately wants to capture his first WPT title. Okay, here we go. The final table of the L.A. Poker Classic about to get underway. 693 players started, Mike. We're about to see the start right now. Let's go down to the felt. Let's talk about the structure here. The Andes tonight will start at $5,000 each. The blinds are going to be 25 and 50 grand. All players in this tournament started out with 20,000 in chips. So there are a lot of chips in play. First action is going to be on former WPT world champion Alan Gehring. Alan, a spectacular player known as a maniac with feel. Got ace queen right now. Well, look at this fence already on hand one. He doesn't do what most people would do is raise with the ace queen. He just limps in right behind him. Daniel Quatch, the former dealer, has picked up a pair of nines. Well, there's a general phrase, and no limit hold him, beware of the limper, but when the limper's Alan Gehring, maybe you want to shut him out of the pot. 200. 200. Daniel's going to raise it, makes it 200,000 to go. And now we're on Nemo. He's got an ace 10. Does look a little like that fish there, Mike. Lays his hand down. Steve Simmons out with 9-4. Round to J.C. Tran. Terrific poker player, but looks at a jack three here and throws it away. The Wu man, Michael Wu, hometown guy, throws away his 6-7. So back on Allen with his ace lady. Well, he's going to make the call with the ace queen. Still taking the conservative road on hand number one, Allen Gehring. So we got nines versus ace queen on the very first hand. And nearly a half a million dollars in the pot already. Here comes the flop. Flop is 5-5-3 five, five, with two hearts. Allen quickly checks. That's a nice flop for Daniel Quatch, the former poker dealer. He's got the over pair. Yeah, anytime you flop three cards out there and your pair is higher than all three of those, that's considered a good flop for you. 250. And he's going to bet a quarter of a million dollars into Allen Gehring. I call. Allen quickly calls it. Well, he doesn't like to lay a hand down, Vance, as we know. And here he's calling with the ace high. Didn't get anything on the flop, but he has not gone yet. 
And we're going to see 4th Street. Well, the turn card, the king of clubs. Allen again checks. Now you wonder if Daniel's starting to get a little nervous. You hate to go broke on hand number one. Allen's the kind of player that plays slop, too. Low card, so he's got to be thinking, did this guy just trying to trap here? 250. No, nope, he's uh, relentless, though. Yep, he is not slowing down, but it's another quarter of a million. And this time, Alan Guerin gives it up. So there you go. Daniel Quatch taking down pot number one. So, Vince, we could be on a Quatch watch tonight. <laughs> Did a nice job taking that pot down. You know, you feel good about these former dealers who put in their ears at the table, now have a chance to make big money on the other side of the table. Just terrific to see. All right, well, let's watch Quatch's next hand. Here it is. It's a 9-8. Very unimpressive. He throws it away. And on to Nemo, who's got Queen-9. The little fish that could goes out. Steve Simmons over in seat one looks down at a four-deuce offsuit. Folds. And now J.C. Tran with the button. He's got 10-8 of clubs. He's been in the WPT final table before. Just missed out on two other occasions. Going to raise it, makes it 150,000 to go. And now right behind him, Michael Wu with King Eight of Hearts has a decision. Michael Wu, a rather conservative player, opts to lay it down. Yes, he does. And the only one to beat is Alan Gehring. Well, Alan Gehring, just the opposite of Michael Wu. He likes to play a lot of pots, what we call a defender of the blinds. When his blind's out there, it's hard to get away from him. He calls this raise with King Six. And let's look at this flop. It's ace, eight, deuce. Now notice J.C. Tran has made a pair of eights here. Does not help, Alan, but that doesn't mind to him. <laughs> 150. He's going to bet any $150,000. Just leads right out into the razor with a $150,000 bet. Now J.C. Tran got the piece of eights there, a pair of eights with a 10 kicker. He's thinking this through. Does Alan really have an ace? Wouldn't he have bumped it if he had before the flop? And he's going to call with him. Doesn't believe Allen's got an ace in his hand. He knows this guy. He said, you know, if he had an ace, he'd probably re-raise me before the flop. Nine of clubs on the turn. Let's see if he'll slow down. Allen Gehring does. He checks it. Well, you can see J.C. Tran not believing he's got an ace here. Maybe he's putting him on a flush draw. But he's going to bet and find out what he's got. He puts 225,000 out there. And yeah. Allen checking back with his junk hand. King six has to go bye-bye. Well, Allen Guerin sinking fast here, Vince. He lost a half million in the first pot. 300,000 in that pot. But it just shows you the guy likes to play. We are seeing it is not about the cards. It is about the players. These guys are getting into the minds of the other guys, what they're thinking. And that's what poker is really about at a high level. Well-played hand by J.C. Tran there. Well, he's an exciting player. The Tran man does play fast, but action's going to be on Daniel Quatch right now. He's got a 10-7 of hearts. He quickly goes out. Round to Nemo. He looks down at 8-7. He's going to fold. Steve Simmons with A6 out, and now J.C. Tran with a button with a 6-3 of diamonds. He's going to limp in and call on the button here. And now Michael Wu's picked up a pretty good hand, a small blind. He's got ace-jack. See how he plays it. He just calls, Vince, does not come over the top and raise it like most players would in that spot. And Alan Gehring, with a, just an awful eight-deuce offsuit, says, let's see this flop. I love cheap flops. Let me outplay you later. Well, the flop is 5-5-3. Five, five, J.C. Tran hitting a little piece of that with the threes. But action on Michael Wu. He didn't raise before the flop, yet now he's reaching for chips here. 80. He bets 80,000. Alan Gehring quickly folding. Now up to J.C., who's got threes and fives. But he knows he's up against a conservative player in Michael Wu. What do you do with two threes here in this spot? He is going to raise him. Yeah. This is what we call a probing raise. He's raised at 100,000 here. A feeler type raise just to find out where Michael Wu's at. He's saying, hey, if you had a real pair, wouldn't you have raised before the flop? I don't think you do. I want to find out where you are. 
I really like this play, and I'll tell you why. Because if he just calls here, and now Michael Betts on the next street, now you're at a guess. Does he have it or doesn't he? He's making the raise here to find out right now if indeed Michael's got a hand now. And as you can see, Michael's got a problem. Yes, he's thinking to himself, I should have raised before the flop, I guess. This guy picked up something. Do I want to have a battle here or not? Well, now he goes out. He's going to lay it down. <laughs> Let's take a look at the wonder cam and see. Look at, oh man, a jack on the turn and then an ace on the river. So without that raise, good chance JC Tran's going to lose that pot rather than win it. Seven million dollar prize pool, 2.4 million dollars going to go to the winner. Stay tuned. We're coming back with more on the World Poker Tour. Winning a World Poker Tour title is almost like winning a Super Bowl or winning an NBA championship. It would mean a lot. It's like getting the monkey off my shoulder. And I want to be able to win the title and just say, hey, I did it. In L.A., there's a lot more action. I think the L.A. players are a lot more action-oriented. First time I ever came to L.A. to play in a tournament, I was just overwhelmed by how aggressive these guys are. L.A. is the poker capital of the world. Welcome back to the L.A. Poker Classic. I'm Vince Van Patten sitting alongside Mike Sexton right here with the antis have gone up to $10,000 and the blinds are going to be 40 and 80 grand. Action's going to be on Michael Wu. Six players remain. Michael looks down at 7-5 off suit. Throws it away. Allen quickly folds. Daniel Quatch with King 8. He's going to lay it down. And now around to the little fishy Nemo. Look at this, he's got a pair of jacks. Yep, very nice hand on the button. See how he's gonna play it. Raise 225. He's gonna raise it, makes it 225,000 to go. Right behind him, Steve Simmons, and look at this. Uh -oh, oh, this oh boy. This could spell trouble for the fish right here. He's picked up the ladies, then what a time to do it. Let's see how he's gonna play the two queens. Come on. There he goes, all in. Wow. Just betting it all right here. JC Tran quickly folding. So back on Nemo. He's putting the 225 in the pot. Who's yeah. got a huge hand, too. Jacks versus Queens. Well, it's going to cost Nemo a little over 1.2 million more to make this call here. This will be an incredible laydown. Let's see if Nemo can make it. Yeah, it's 1.2 right there. I call. Oh, look at this. He's going to call it, and he's going to be dominated right now. Two queens versus two jacks. Over $3 million in this pot right now. And right now, Nemo is going to have to get lucky. And remember, we saw J.C. Tran fold a jack in the big blind. So he is really drawing thin. Come on, dealer. Give it to me. Here come the first three, Mike. Now well, flop is ace 10-4. No queen. I don't want a queen. That so for Nemo to win this pot, he's going to have to catch the case jack or a running king queen. Things looking very bad for Nemo right now. The man from Cyprus in some trouble with two cards to come. Here we go with the turn. It's a deuce of hearts. So we are off to the river card, and it must be the case jack Nemo must catch if he's going to eliminate Steve Simmons from this tournament. And the little fish is drowning in the river. He needs a miracle. Can he get it? Nope, it's a tennis spade. So Steve Simmons is going to double up. And Vince, in poker as in life, the big fish eat the little fish. And Nemo, he's smarter. You know, you look at Nemo, he looks like one of those villains in a bad Batman film, doesn't he? Yeah, he looks like Elton John in pain right now. Nemo. My nickname is Nemo. It is from the cartoon because it's a smart fish. I have a good read on the other players. Nemo best. To make this final table this huge because I want to prove something to other Swedish